Hello, beautiful. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Good. Are you in your house or are you in your work? In my work. Okay. And you finish tomorrow at 8 a.m. Exactly. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. Nice. When is your vacation? In January. In January. 11 months. 11 months. Uh, uh, see, yeah. 11 uh, months. 11 months. Exactly. Okay, good. That's good, you know, like having a job is a blessing. Yes, it's a blessing of God. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and you let's I'm I'm doing okay. I had a nice day. So everything is well, everything is nice. Okay. Okay. Yep. So we'll we'll see what tomorrow has. Uh, I no, I said we will see what tomorrow has. Okay, yeah, for for tomorrow. For tomorrow. For tomorrow, yes. A new day new destinies, new objectives. 
Uh, knew everything. No, uh, the rest of my home morning. Tomorrow. Huh? Rest. I rest. Do you sleep during the day? Yeah, it's a little. Like how, two hours. how many hours? How uh, many hours? Two, two hours. Two hours? Two hours uh, for the hot. Um, the temperature. The temperature, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it, do you do you have a fan in your house? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad for, for, for my health. Oh. Yeah, okay. For the throat, my throat, my my body, temperature, 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 temperature. Uh, no, 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 no. It's good. Sleep in the day. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, you know, in, in my case, I usually sleep well. Thank God. God uh, gives me good sleep. Uh, excuse me. What, teacher? What happened? Uh, what say you excuse me? Please repeat. Tengo una interrupción por acá de una música, no la escucha, se me está afectando un poco. Okay. Por rato, por el rato que se, se, se pone silencio, le, le escucho perfectamente. Okay. But it's very good the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's seven. How do you say un día sí, un día no? Se me olvidó, sinceramente, teacher. Every other day. Every other day, okay. So every Osmin, other... Osmin works every other day, right? Yes, yeah. I work uh, every other day. Every other day, yes, uh, 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours. 24, 24 hours in and 24 hours out. Exactly. 24 yeah. hours in, 24 hours out. Very good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Janet. Good evening. Good evening, Janet. How are you? Nice. And you? I'm doing okay, too. Thank you. Yes. Ricardo, how are you? My teacher, how are, how are you? I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking. Rose. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing okay too. Thanks for asking. Okay. Did you have a good day, Rose? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Good. 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 Good, good, good. Yes, I have a good day. Nice. What about you, Ricardo? Did you have a nice day? I can say yes, teacher, but I was so busy. <laughs> I had a lot of activities. <laughs> All right. What about you, Janet? Did you have a nice day? Yes, I have a nice day. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's begin. Once again, thank you for being present. Thank you for being responsible. We have four more classes. We have today, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we're finished with level number one. So thank you for being persistent. What time is it? What it time? 8.08, teacher. 8.08, that is correct. Eight. What is eight. another form to say 8.08? Eight. Eight. eight past eight, no. Eight past eight, sure. Yeah. 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 Or eight after eight. eight. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so let's begin. What is today's date? Today is Tuesday? Yes, today is 16. Tuesday. Yes. 
Which month? February. February. Uh huh. And the date is? 16th. 16th. And what is the year? 2021. 2021. That is correct. How do you say brevemente in English? For a moment. Brevemente. Briefly. Mm. Briefly. Let me put it in the chat. Briefly. 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 Brevemente. Briefly. So briefly, let's talk about the topics that we covered yesterday. What did we cover yesterday? We studied about the preposition of place, teacher. Prepositions of place. Which prepositions? In, on, and at. Good. How do you say atrás de? Behind of. Behind the. Behind the park, behind the bank. How do you say a la par? Next to. Next to. Enfrente de? In front, in front of. In front of. We can say across, across, teacher. If if you cross the street, yes, you can. Yes, you can. For example, I can say, my goodness, um, my brother is in front of me. He's sitting in front of me right now. So you use across, you can say it, but if you need to cross the street. Okay, yep. All right. All right, so we were talking about in, on, at. When do we use in? Uh, to refer places. Which places? Like my sister is in church. Good. Uh -huh. Okay, so when you say in, you're making reference to the inside part. Good. What about on? Uh, like a street, the restaurant is on that street. Right. Or I can say, my cell phone is on the table. It always means on. Sobre. And when do we use at? When it's an open place. Yeah. Or you, or, or or you don't know exactly where, where oh, that person is. Where the person is. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So you say at the stadium, at the park, at the swimming pool, the open places. Okay. But if you don't know exactly which part of the place the person is, then you say at the bank, at the hospital, at school. Very good. Any questions or comments? Questions or comments? No? Question. Yes, Osmin. Uh, it's correct, say, it's correct, I say, we fly are we sitting here. One more time, please. Yeah. Brief fly, brief fly or brief fly is brevement. Briefly, briefly. Uh, briefly, are we sitting here? Is correct. Yeah. Briefly, I will be here. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, you say briefly, under, briefly, 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 under briefly. any circumstance where you okay. are talking about a short time. Okay, para decir en, en unas circunstancias por un corto tiempo, más o menos, sí. I will be briefly in, in mejores circunstancias. Ah, okay. Is that what you said, Osmin? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yes. briefly, I will be in better circumstance. Yes. In better circumstance. Yes. Yeah, that is everybody's hope. Eso es lo que todos esperamos. Okay. This is everybody's hope. Thanks. Yeah, that's what everybody hopes. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, any questions or comments about yesterday, people? 
Is everything clear? Yes. All right, so let's begin. Can you see my book? Yes, it yes. Is. yes. Okay, yes. what's in the picture? Two people. A man and a woman. A man and a woman, two people. Where do you think they are? Talking in a park or something. Maybe. How do you say el fondo? No hay nada en el fondo. Background. Background. There is nothing in the background. So for this case, you use your imagination. Maybe they're in the park. Maybe they're in the office. Maybe they're in a cafeteria. We don't know. Okay. So uh, we have two people in the conversation. I'm going to read the conversation once. You guys just pay attention. It goes like this. Hello, can you help me? Where's the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Any questions there? Teacher, what is the meaning of training centers? Okay, does anybody know training centers? People? Eh, centro de entrenamiento. Like what? Mm, like, I don't know about anything. A computer, I don't know. Yeah, uh, you know, it can be understood in two different forms. Like, okay, a, a computer training center, an English training center, or it could be also used as a gym, a training center, oh. you know? So it depends okay. which type of training you're, you're referring to. Okay. Thank any, you. any questions there? <clears throat> How do you I say? Yes, Luis. Uh, when Tanya said in the, in the first, in the, well, We'll say, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. And Tanya say, don't worry, there are four buildings. There are because it's plural. Exactly, buildings, right? exactly. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. How do you say letras negritas in English? Bold letters. Huh? Bold letters. Excellent, bold letters. Bold, bold letters. Bold letters. How do you say mayúsculas? Capital letter. Capitals. How do you say Capital. minúsculas? Up, up, right. Up, up, right. <laughs> <laughs> upper, upper, low. <laughs> low case. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody help Rose. Rose. <laughs> lower case. Lower case. Lower case. <laughs> lower case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any questions about this conversation? Any questions about structures or meaning or pronunciation? No? So I need two volunteers. I need one Will and I need one Tanya. Where is Will? Will. Hi. Will. Thank you, Osman. And Tanya, where is Tanya? Okay. Tanya? Me. Okay, thank Me. you, Rose. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Osman. Okay. Uh, hello, can you help me? Uh, where is the Melbourne building? Building? Mm -hmm. A building? I don't live here. I don't live here. I don't live here, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I uh, just told me to go uh, to the building on my main street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? 
There are lots of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Uh, I have some <clears throat> each girl there. Thank you. You again, bye bye. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Any questions about this conversation? No. The other day I was talking uh -huh. with Osmin and I don't remember who was there too. Uh -huh. But I, I'm saying that in English you have to make emphasis in the in the same interrogation marks. Yeah. And Your exclamation e mark. Exactly. Because yes. uh, because yes. you have you, you you need to um, yeah, your intonation has to be yes. different. Yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. So we said, what's your name? Okay. How do you say, what's your name in Spanish? My name is... Como te llamas. Como te llamas. But te there is no intonation of a question. Donde no. fuiste, con quien hablaste, que te dijeron? It's, it's plain. It's plain. But English is different. In English, if you see a question mark, your intonation has to be different. If you see an exclamation mark, your intonation has to be different as well. Yep. Anything it's, else? It's, it's huh? different. It's, it's dif sounds different, say, can you help me? Oh, can you help me? Exactly. It sounds yeah. different. Because you said, uh, how can I help you? And I said, how can I help <laughs> you? What do you want? What do you want? You know, so, yeah, your intonation has to be different. Good. Yeah. All right, now what do the bold letters represent? <clears throat> uh, they represent that is talking about in general. Okay, so if I say there are four people in my house. There are four people in my house. ¿Qué digo ahí? Hay cuatro personas Hay en mi cuatro. casa. So, estoy diciendo que cuatro personas existen. How do you say chorro in English? You can say tap. Tap is chorro. Okay. But grifo, you say faucet. So, the two options are good. So, imagine that you live in a neighborhood where water is not too friendly. How do you say un día si, un día no in English? Wow. Uh -huh. Every other day. Excellent. Every other day. Every yeah. other day. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so every other day. So I open the faucet and there is no water. There's no water, there's no water. Sorry, any other day or every other day? Every other day. Every, every, yeah, okay. every other day. Can you write it, your piece? Sure, of course. Every other day. How do you say un día si, un día no? Every other, every other day. Un año si, un año no? Every, every, every year. Every, every, year. Day. every, every other, other year. year. Every other day. Uh, every other day. Un lunes si, un lunes no? Every other every. Monday. Every other Monday, exactly. So here, what you do, the only thing that you change is the time expression. So every other means uno si, uno no. Then the last word is the one that you say, un mes si, un mes no. Un año si, un año no. So every other, okay? So going back to the message. So I open the faucet. And I'm happy. It says, Francisco, why are you happy? There is water. There is water. ¿Qué digo ahí? Hay agua. Hay agua. So, singular or plural, when you use I, you are talking about the existence of things. There are four people in my family. What am I saying there? Cuatro personas existen en mi familia. Hey, there is water. That means that when the person says there is water, el agua existe en ese momento. So there is, there are, is used 
to talk about the existence of things. Let me ask you, how many states are there in the US? Uh, 54, I guess, I think. No. Mm. 53. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> there are 50. Okay. 48 Teacher. are Teacher. together. Yes, yes, Rick. Puerto Rico is a state. No, it's, right? It's American territory, but it's not a state. It's like a colony. Uh, okay. Okay. So there are 50 states in the U.S. 48. 50 child. 50 states. 50 states, okay. 50. 48 are together. Two states are separate. What are the two states? Hawaii. Hawaii is one. Puerto Alaska. Rico. Hawaii Alaska. and Alaska. Oh, Alaska. Hawaii and Alaska. So Alaska is an American state. Hawaii is an American state, but they are somewhere else. You know, Alaska is next to Canada and Hawaii is in the Pacific Ocean. So and Puerto Rico is the Pacific Ocean. And, and Puerto Rico is in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, Atlantic Ocean, yes. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, Puerto Rico is not a state. Puerto Rico and, is like the Virgin Islands, like American Samoa, um, and, and the Solomon Islands, that they are American territory, but they're not states. All right? Yeah. How many Puerto states? Rico. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Puerto Rico is uh, a state number uh, 51 of the no. United States. No. Oh. Puerto Rico is territory, but it's not an state. No idea. It's independent. Independence? It, it's not independent because Puerto Rico depends from the states. Oh, yeah. So they, they are American territory but it's not a state. Ah, okay. Yep. Yes. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions? How many states are there in El Salvador? 14. 14. How do you say municipios in English? I... Counties. Counties, very good. Counties. 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 How many counties are there in El Salvador? Mm, 262. Yes. 262. That is correct. So remember, there is, there is, is for singular. Teacher, how do you say diputado, congressman? Congressman, yes. And when is a she? A uh, congresswoman. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There is is for singular. There are is for plural. How do you say hay alguien afuera? Is anybody there? Is anybody hay outside? alguien afuera. Hay there, alguien afuera. There is somebody outside. Yes. There is somebody outside. Yes. Yes. How do you say tocar la puerta? Knock the door. The Knock door. the door. Hey, someone's knocking at the door. Go open. Go check. <laughs> right? Now, what is the negative of there is? There isn't. There is not. There isn't. Or there is not. Right. So there isn't is negative singular. There isn't is negative singular. What is the negative of there are? There are not or there aren't. Or there uh -huh. aren't. Uh -huh. Negative plural. How do you say no hay mascotas en mi casa? There are no 
pets in my house. Okay, there aren't any um. pets in my house. How do you say hay dos gatos en mi casa? There are two there cats, are two in, cats my in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pregúnteme si hay agua ahorita. There is water. Is, is there water? Is there water? Is there. Pregúnteme si hay preguntas. Ah, valga la redundancia. Pregúnteme si hay preguntas. <laughs> <laughs> Is there is, a question? Is there a question? Are there? Are there questions? Uh, are there questions? Yeah. Are there yeah. questions? Are there questions? Uh-huh. So right here. So this is how you use there is, there are, singular, plural, positive, negatives, and question forms. Any questions? No teacher. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do uh, exercise three, read the conversation again to answer the questions. I will give you three minutes so you guys can answer those questions. Let me go get some water, please. Ready? Uh, no. Okay.
All right. How many Melbourne buildings are there? There are four buildings. There are four buildings. <coughs> what about number two? Where's the building where Will wants to go located? It's down street the street center. on the left side. Okay. Yes. Okay. What street? What street? There is on Main Street. There is on Main Street. Main Street. Yes. Main Street. In number three, how many training centers are there? Where are they? There are a lot. There are a lot. Where are they located? Between Main and King Street. Excellent. Very good. Any questions? Sure. Can you help me with something? Sure. I need to know what is the difference when we use a lot of and many teacher. I know uh, we use a, a quantity, okay. right? But let, what is the difference? Okay, let, let me explain. Okay. Many is for countables. Countables, okay. Much is for non-countables. So, Sometimes we forget which is which. You say many or much, many or much. Yes. If you don't want to complicate, it's very simple. You say a lot of. Okay. A lot of applies with countables and non-countables. So if you don't want to complicate, just use a lot of. In both cases, teacher. In both cases. So I said, I have many books in my house. I have many books in my house. I have much water in my house. I have much water in my house. Books is countable, so I say many. Water is non-countable, so I say much. But I can say I need a lot of books or I can say I need a lot of water. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right, good. Any other questions, people? <coughs> no? Okay, so there is, there are, let me see this here, let me share. Can you see the image? Okay. There is for singular, there are for plural. There aren't, negative plural, right here. And if you want to make questions, you say, is there or are there? How do you say, mire, y hay, pasa, hay plazas disponibles en su oficina? How do you say plazas in English? You can say it in two different forms. You can say openings, or you can say vacancies. So plazas, openings, or you can say vacancies. Pregúnteme si hay plazas donde yo trabajo. Are there openings in your job? Are there openings in your job? Are there vacancies in your job? Same thing. All right, so this is the exercise. You need to complete the blanks. Any questions before we start? So keeping, uh, yeah. That exercise is not in the book, right? No, it's not in the book. Okay. It's not in the book. So when you're doing this exercise, you just need to remember if it's singular or plural. If it's positive, or if it's negative, if it's a question or if it's a sentence. So how much time do you need to finish this exercise? Mm, five minutes, Twen maybe. 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Give us an hour. <laughs> okay, five minutes. Is five minutes okay with you? Mm, one more minute. <laughs> make, it, make it 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead.
Uh, teacher. Yes, sir. In the number five, A is like the start of the sentence or like saying the first? No, it's the first person acting. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. When the sentence says in the number nine, a few things, we refer to singular or plural? A few things. Yes. It's plural. Plural, okay. Yes. Thank you. Good.
You guys ready? Volunteer for number three. Me teacher. Go ahead. There are 50 states in the United States. Yes, there are 50 states in the United States. Very good. Number four. Luis, do you have number four? Yes. Uh, no, there's no polar bears at the South Pole. Okay, polar bears. Is that singular or plural? Uh, plural. Uh -huh. So there are no polar bears at the South Pole. There aren't. There are not. Uh -huh, aren't. Okay, so one more time, Luis. No, there are not polar bears at South Pole. Good, very good. Number five, Rose, do you have number five? Five. Uh, there is a message from me? No. Okay, there is, is, that, is, is that a question or a sentence? Question. Uh -huh. It's a question. Yeah. Ah, is there a message for me? Good, yes. is there a message for me? Is there a message uh -huh. for me? No, there isn't. No, there is. No, uh -huh. okay, Very no, good. Yeah. Osmin, do you? That. Okay, don't worry. Osmin, do you have number six? Uh, number number six is a question. Yeah, no. Yeah, number six is a question. Okay. So my car in the parking lot. No, no, no. What is? Now, when you say cars. Is that singular or plural? Okay, cars are in um, plural. Okay. So if you're making a question, you have to say, are there? Why are there? Why, why are there? Uh-huh. Mm. Why Much are there? Why are there so many cars in the parking lot? ¿Qué le están preguntando ahí? ¿Por qué hay muchos carros en el parqueo? Exactly, exactly. ¿Por qué hay muchos carros en el parqueo? Very good. Okay. Uh, number seven. Vilma, do you have number seven? Yes. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. There is a restaurant across the street. Excellent. I'm hungry. There is a restaurant across the street. Very good. Number eight, Janet. How many days? How many days are there in March? 50 or 51. Very good. Marta Monge, do you have number nine? A few things. ¿Qué dice ahí? A few things. Busca, pocas cosas. Un, un par de cosas, pocas un de cosas. cosas. Uh -huh. okay. Un par de cosas que tengo que hacer esta tarde. So what is the answer, Marta? There is or there are? Anybody? There are. There are. There are a few things I have to do this afternoon. Very good. Then we have 11. Volunteer for number 11. 
or 10, teacher. Oh, 10, sorry, 10. Is there a post office nearby? Nearby? Nearby, sorry. I'm sorry, I don't know. What is Good. the meaning of nearby, teacher? Nearby is another form to say near. Near, okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Nearby is the real form. Yes, nearby. 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 Okay. <coughs> How about 11? Who wants to do 11? Near. 11. Uh, is there something I can help you with? Good. Is there something I can help you with? How do you say that one in Spanish? How do you say number 11 in Spanish? Hay algo en lo que yo puedo ayudar. Yeah. Hay algo con lo que yo puedo ayudar. Yes. Very good. Number 12, another volunteer. Eh, uh, me. Okay. Uh, no, there are no public there are no public holidays next month. Okay. No, there aren't public holidays next month. Are there any public holidays in March here in El Salvador? No, huh? Uh, not this year. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Holiday week is on April. Yeah. Yeah, and the only holiday is the day of elections on the 28th that nobody yes. works, apparently. Yeah, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> right. Right. But imagine if you have to work on a Sunday for some reason, you oh, rest Sunday. or you get double pay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about number 13? How many countries are there Are there in, in the, the world? world? Good. What yeah. about 14? A woman in the picture. She's smiling. There is. There is. There is a woman in the picture. Very good. And 15, only three more days before the exam. Let's study. Uh huh. There are only three more days before the exam. Right. There are only three more days before the exam. Any questions or comments about this exercise, people? No? No. All right. Let me go here. And here we have the. Uh, the explanation from the book of how to use there is and there are. There is an ATM across the street. What is the meaning of ATM? Cajero automático. In English? ATM? Automatic uh -huh. translation one. Okay. Uh, automatic <laughs> teller machine. Ah, teller yes. machine. <laughs> yeah. Remember that, that teller. Ah, yes, the person who gives you the money at the bank. Right, the teller, teller is the person that gives you the money in the bank, but in this case, it's not a person, it's a machine. Ah, okay, automatic uh -huh. teller machine. Okay, do you remember acronyms? Remember acronyms? Yes. yes. ATM is an example of an acronym. Okay. All right. There is an ATM across the street. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. And there's no clothing factory around the corner. That is uh, with the singular form. If you want to go plural, you say, there are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. And there are no hospitals on Barrios Street. Any questions there? No? Okay, so let's do exercise five, complete the exercises with there is or there are in a quantifier. So let's do this.
Teacher. Yes, sir. Can I use a lot of for this is exercise number two? Uh, sure. Sure. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yep. I'll go get the notebook with your names. Give me a second. All right, what is the answer for number one? Anybody? There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning, teacher? Yes. 
there is a marketing okay. presentation across the street in the morning. Very good. Number two, Osmin, do you have number two? Okay, there are busing workshop down the street. Good. There are business workshops down the street. Very good. Um, Luis, do you have number three? Uh, yes. Um, there are recruitment centers around my building. Okay, so positive or negative? Um, oh, it's say no, right? Yes. There are, there are not recruitment centers around my building. Okay, there are not recruitment centers around my building. Very good. Uh, Vilma, do you have number four? Yes. Number the, four. The rains, the rains. A store on the corner of Reservoir Street and Second Avenue. Okay, so there isn't. There isn't. Uh huh. A store on negative. the corner. Exactly, it's negative. Good. Number five. Who wants to do number five? Janet, do you have number five? There are a lot of banks behind. Behind? Behind the factory I work. Excellent. And the last one, it should be number six, not number one again. So what is the last one? There is a dance building around the corner. Good. Very good. Any questions there? There, there is Aranza or there is a an. There is Aranza building around the corner. Aranza is the name of the building, right? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Teacher, only in the second, in the second, there is a between parentheses some. There some. are some business workshops. Yes. There are some business workshops down the street, the mm -hmm. right? Okay. So the idea was to use the words in parentheses. Now for the last one where it says Aranza, now imagine that Aranza, how do you say Marca? Brand. Brand. Okay. Yes, imagine that Aranza is a brand. brand. And you have Aranza buildings everywhere then you could say there is an around a building around the corner. How do you say sucursal in English? How do you say rama? Branch. Branch, good. So yeah. branch means branch. rama, but branch. it also means uh, sucursal. So he said, uh, my sister works in Super Selectos. Oh, really? What branch? My sister works in <coughs> Da Vivienda. Oh, really? What branch? Mm -hmm. How do you say Casa Matriz in English? Head... Headquarters. Headquarters. Very good. Yes. Headquarters. Right. Yes. All right. Any questions on exercise five? Me teacher. Yes, sir. Teacher, in this case, when we had uh, plural nouns, we can use the quantifiers, maybe some sure. or a lot. Yeah. Yes, yes, you can. Thank you, teacher. All right, good. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Okay, so when I call your name, please activate the camera and say, press. So let's take attendance. Alicia Hernandez Monge, absent. Cesar Argueta is absent. Claudio Osorio is absent. Stephanie Martinez is absent. Jacqueline Martinez is absent. Jessica Escamilla, absent. Catherine Hueso is absent. Uh, Luis Martinez? Present. Very good. Uh, Maria Esther Castillo is absent. Maria Gabriela Ramos is absent. Marta Alicia Monge, Marta? 
Marta, Marta. Marta, Marta. Oh, she's there. Thank you, Marta. Okay. Uh, Marta Raceli, she's absent. Osmin Baires. Present, teacher. Very good. Antonia is absent. Ricardo. Okay. Rosalena. Thank you. Rosemary, she's absent. Uh, Sandra Carolina. Absent. Vilma Sorto. Vilma, Vilma. Present. Present. Okay, thank you, Vilma. And Janet Morales. Present. Thank you very much. All right. How do you say repaso in English? Review. Review. Yes. Review. Right now, we're going to have a review about the auxiliaries that we use uh, in the simple present. What are the auxiliaries we use in the simple present? We use two teacher, does and do. Do, do and does. Do and does. What is the difference between do and does? Do it for I, I. Are they? No. Are I, you? I, you. They we and we. Okay, I, are you I, we they. they? Okay, what about and us? Does she, he, she he or it? He, she, or it. What is the form of the verb? Base. Base form. Base form. Base form. Base form. Pregúnteme si yo voy a San Miguel. Are you going to San Miguel? Do you go to San Miguel? Do you go to San Miguel? Do you go yes, to do San you, Miguel? Do you, do you, huh? uh -huh. Pregúnteme si ella va a San Miguel. Does she go to does San she Miguel? Go does San she Miguel? go to San Miguel? So whenever you're using do and does, the form of the verb stays base form. What is the negative of do and does? Doesn't. Or? And don't. 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 Okay. Very good. So let me show you this. Uh -huh. Right here. Can you see the document? Yes, teacher. Okay. So we will do number One through 15, you guys will be working in pairs, breakout rooms, three, move to here, move to, all right, so here we go, people, answer the questions. Teacher, can you share and uh, what's up? Maybe. Sure, Please. right now, right now. Thank you. Yep.
Hello. Hello. How nice. are you? Como están? Good. Nice. Good. Which number are you doing? ¿Qué número están haciendo? Um, one. Number one? Number one. Okay, what would be the answer for number one? I going have to breakfast. I don't have breakfast. Yes. Uh -huh. How do you say I don't have breakfast in Spanish? No desayuno. Yo no desayuno. Yes. Very good. Tim, Tim what's I think in Spanish? Ping is uh, he. A key. He. Ping doesn't like horror field. Or the horror, horror field. He didn't scared of a spider. Of a spider. Scared of car. Bye. What is the number three? The number three, I, I, a little word today. Yes. Eleven. He doesn't live next to the park. He lives near our school. Okay. Eleven is doesn't. Does not. Uh -huh, doesn't. Yes. He doesn't. Twelve. Leo. Leo doesn't phone Karen. He can find her telephone number. Uh huh. Okay. Leo doesn't phone Karen. Yeah. Yeah. Sí. He okay. doesn't go, go to school or go to school today. Okay. School today. Okay. The number That's six. Five. Number five. five. Five, yeah, sí, sí, yeah. Number five, I... He, his car doesn't go very fast. For example, his car mm -hmm. doesn't go very fast. But in the... Old car, we... don't. Um, I, I was uh, maybe pretty bit done. Old car don't go... Um, don't, <coughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which 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 one are you doing? Uh, the number ten we have a doubt. It's okay. Old, old car number nine. Do, number nine. Yes, number, number nine, nine. Yeah. Our old car, car doesn't go. Doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Why, teacher? Because it's our car, car makes reference to it. it. Okay. okay. So okay. it's not he, it's not she, it's it. So, okay. so you have to say it doesn't. Okay. They refer they refer the car teacher. Excuse me? Uh, they refer the car. Oh, they are talking about the car. Exactly. So okay. the, the car is the subject. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, yep. thank you. All right. <laughs> Did you finish all of them? Yes. Yes. You guys are very fast. What is number one? 
don't, I don't have breakfast. <laughs> Number two. Tim doesn't. Tim doesn't okay. Like okay. What about number three? I don't want to. Wear I don't want to wear sweater. Okay. Number four. Jim doesn't feel well. He doesn't go to school. Okay. Let, let me check. Let me check. Okay. Number four. Jim, Jim doesn't, doesn't, feel, doesn't feel, well. feel well. He doesn't go to school. Very good. What is number five? I don't climb trees. I don't climb trees. I, climb I, trees. I can't do it. What's the meaning of climb? Escalar. Escalar. Good. Very good. What about number six? You can't speak to Fernando. He doesn't speak English. Okay. What about <laughs> number seven? Our cat. Our Does. cat doesn't. Doesn't. Number eight? We don't. We don't. Number nine? Doesn't. 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 Number 10? Don't. Don't. I'm not busy. I don't I have don't a lot. Have a okay, what about 11? Jim doesn't live next to the park. He lives near our school. Okay, Maybe. number 12? Leo Same. doesn't phone Karen. Okay, Leo, Leo doesn't phone Karen, okay. What about 13? Mom doesn't Mom like doesn't. the picture. Good. Number 14? I don't. I don't. 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 Uh-huh. And Sandra? Doesn't. Doesn't like, like animals. animals. Yes. All right. Now, what is the structure that we use when you're making emphasis about something in the simple present? And, uh, do or, or does? Plus what? Mm. How do you say, si me levanto temprano? I do wake, wake up early. I do wake up early. How do you say, ella si se levanta temprano? She does wake it up does. early. Exactly. She does wake up early. Good. Any questions? Questions or comments? Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. How do you say, si sí suena bien? Imagine you're checking a stereo, you're checking the volume. How do you say, si sí suena bien? It does sound good. good. It does sound good. Excellent. All right, any questions about this exercise? No. No? No, teacher. No. All right, let me visit yes, the other guys and then we go back. All right, all right. Let's check the answers. Marta, what is number one? Está mudo su micrófono. What is I number one? I don't know. I don't know. Have 
breakfast. I do not have breakfast. Uh -huh. okay. okay, what is the contraction of do not, Marta? Um, the contraction of do not. Está en la forma contractada, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. What is the contracted form of do not? Don't. 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 So, I don't have breakfast. I don't know. have. How do you breakfast. say number one in Spanish, Marta? Es don. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice eso en español, la número uno? I don't have breakfast. El que no, el que no, te, no. No tengo, no tengo el desayuno. Ok, no tengo el desayuno o no desayuno. Very no good. Desayuno. Ok, very good. Ricardo, what is number two? Ok, teacher, give me a second because I lost the, the page. The image. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Ok. Mm. Ok, teacher, the number two is... Tim doesn't like horror films. He is even scared of, of spiders. Okay, Tim doesn't like horror films. He's even scared of spiders. Even scared of a spider. Do you guys like spiders? Do you like spiders? Not really. <laughs> No. Little spider, yes. <laughs> Maybe what, what it's a movie it? teacher. Oh, little Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Oh, little yeah, spiders, yeah. okay. Only, only a Spider-Man, I like. <laughs> it's a movie. How do you say tarantula? Tarantula, tarantula. No. When I was a kid, I used to catch tarantulas, tarantulas. Why? Uh, just for fun. Ah, uh, for fun. <laughs> yeah, just for fun. Yeah. Where, do, where did you find, where do you, uh-huh. Huh? Did you catch big ones or little ones? Uh, medium, sometimes big. I used, to, I used to go to Cementerio Los Ilustres. Ah, well, because my find, house, yeah. my house is like two blocks from Los Ilustres. So we used to visit Los Ilustres, you know, like, like, a, like a park. I mean, Why did do... you like the spider teacher? Or what did you like the tarantula? Uh, I don't <laughs> what know. is the reason? Uh, 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 you know, like in, the, in those years, I used to study in Liceo Cristiano. So Liceo Cristiano had a, a, a laboratory and they had different samples of animals. So I I used to bring tarantulas for like like a donation. For the experiments. Not for experiments because the animal was dead already. But just just for the hell of it, you know. How did you kill them? Uh, you know, I didn't kill them. What you do, how do you say elo in English? Um, String. Okay. Let me put it in the chat. String. Okay, so you made string. How do you say chicle in English? Gum. 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 So you would put gum in your mouth, make a ball, <laughs> and you use a string, and you will just go like in the hole, and the animal will try to catch the. So when you know that it was ready, you just pulled, and the animal came out. It wow. was cool. <laughs> It was cool. But anyway, good memories, teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good memories. Good memories. All right. Where were we? ¿Dónde estábamos? This is a number four. Oh, three. right, right, right. Okay, I don't know. Okay, number four, Jim. <coughs> Jim what? Jim, Jim. Jim doesn't feel... Well, uh -huh. he doesn't go to the school today. Excellent. Vilma, do you have number five? You can to speak in to fair. Number five. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do. I don't. I don't. Climb. Climb tree. Uh huh. I can do it. Do it. Uh huh. Okay. Osmin, do you have number six? Okay. 
you can speak to Fernando Hidu. Speak English. Okay, how do you say él no habla inglés? He do not speak English. He, he doesn't. doesn't. He, he doesn't. doesn't. Not, he doesn't speak English. Speak English, okay. Okay, good. How do you say él no tiene bicicleta? He doesn't have a bike. He doesn't have a bike. Yeah, so everything is negative. Okay. So, uh, what about number seven? Our cat. Uh huh. Our cat. Our cat doesn't climb trees. She's very lazy. Climb trees. She's climb very trees. lazy. Yeah. Uh huh. She's very lazy. Huh? Excuse me? ¿Qué dijo? Okay. So, number eight. We We don't have, have We don't have a party. Okay. How do you say parrilla in English? Uh, grill. Grill, yes. Grill. Okay, number nine. Our car Doesn't, doesn't go doesn't very, go very fast. fast. It's, it's old. old. Uh -huh. It's old. I'm not busy. I don't I have a lot of work to do today. Okay, I don't have. What about number 12, uh, 11? Jim? Jim what? Doesn't. Doesn't live next to the park. What about 12, Leo? Doesn't. 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 13, mom? Doesn't. Doesn't. And 14? Don't. Don't. I don't want a new bike. My old bike is fantastic. Okay. Any questions or comments about that exercise? Don't and doesn't. I have a question. Yes, sir. When we're, you're talking about that you like to uh, hatch spiders, uh -huh. How do you say no no te asustaba que te picaran? Weren't you scared? Weren't you scared? Weren't you scared? I, I was, you know, because uh, the urine or, or the venom they have, it, it's dangerous for uh, for your skin. So, but I was, I always try to be careful and I never had any incidents. And how do you say picar? Sting. Weren't you scared to be stink like that? Stung, stung. Weren't oh, you scared fat. to be stung? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I was, you know, but I was a little bit careful, so I never had any incidents. Yeah. And the color of the spiders are, are good, you know, like yellowish, brownish. The tarantula. Yeah. It's not like gray dark. Mm, well, no? well, I, you know, they, I don't think they were tarantulas, but they're called arañas de caballo, I think, but they're, they're big, but they're big, uh -huh, uh -huh, but okay. they were cool. So you put them in a bottle, in a glass bottle, you close it and uh, they die because of the lack of oxygen. So when they arrived to the lab, they were dead already. Yep. All right, any questions about the exercise? Any questions? Question, question. Yes, Osmin? Okay, in, in number 11. What's number 11? In Spanish. What? Okay, give me a second. Number 11. Uh, Jim. 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 Jim is, como decir, Jaime. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Jim doesn't live next to the park. Jim no vive a la par del parque. Oh, bien. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Any questions? No? Okay, so let me see this here. Mm -hmm. And here we are. So can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Okay. 
So there is, is for singular, there are, is for plural. There isn't, is for negative singular. There aren't, is for negative plural. So there is a beautiful lobby. ¿Qué dice ahí en español? Hay un lobby muy bonito. Uh -huh. There are comfortable rooms. Hay habitaciones cómodas. Okay, there is a huge parking lot. Un gran parqueo. Yeah, hay un Gigante. gran parqueo. Yes, huge. Parqueo. There are three high-tech elevators. Hay tres elevadores. Tecnológicos. Okay, good. That was Mr. Paz. Now we go with uh, Miss Aguilar. Le pusieron Mr. Pero es Miss, Mrs. Aguilar. Le faltó la S. How do you spell yes. Mrs.? M-R-S. M-R-S yes. period. Yes. Mrs. So there is a narrow reception area. ¿Qué está diciendo ahí? Una recepción bien angosta. Exactly. Yep. There are two dirty dining rooms. Hay dos cuartos de comedor sucio. Yes. There is an ugly photocopy center. Hay un centro de copias viejo, feo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya yeah, feo. Yeah. And there are small offices. Hay oficinas pequeñas. Okay, good. Any questions here? Yes, teacher, the meaning of you. We can use for tan or no es abrazo, uh, teacher. What, what is the word, Ricardo? Huge. Yeah, huge. Yeah. Huge. You said uh, Russia is a huge country. Huge. What? Huge. What is the meaning, teacher? Huge. Very big. Huge. Very. Uh, Very okay. big. When we say when we say big. Exactly. So if you okay. said, "Oh, your your friend is in a huge problem." In a huge problem. What, what is the difference between huge and big? Uh, big is of um, <laughs> considerable oh. size. Huge is uh, very huge big. Is... <laughs> okay. So huge yes. is very big. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huge is bigger than big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? It's like, a, like, like a superlative. Uh, not exactly. It's not a superlative, no. but no. it's an adjective. Oh, yeah. It's an adjective that explains something is very big. Like Russia is a oh. huge country. I have okay. a huge problem. Your children oh, okay. are huge. Like they're very okay. big. Oh, okay. 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 Any other questions? No. So this is what you will do. Lo que va a hacer ahorita. Um, va a describir su lugar de trabajo. There is, there aren't. There isn't, there aren't. ¿Ustedes conocen inglés corporativo, así el físico? No. 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 It's a no. nice, beautiful place in Colonia Escalón. It's near... Torre Futura. Ah, okay. So I can say, English corporativo, in English corporativo, there are like 10 um, classrooms, like 10 classrooms. There is a medium size garden. There is enough space for parking in the front. There yeah. is air conditioner in each room. Um, there are clean bathrooms. So, estoy describiendo como está, ta -da, ta -ta, ta -ta, and so on. Any questions about the description you need to make? So, solo se trata de describir. There is, there are. Yeah, there is, there are. ¿Cómo me va a decir no hay agua a las 24 horas? There isn't water 24 hours. <laughs> there, isn't, <laughs> there isn't water 24, 24 hours. hours. 
How do you say hay transporte colectivo? O transporte there público. Is, uh, there is public, public transportation. transportation. There is public transportation. Exactly. How do you say hay servicio de Uber? Uber. There's Uber. Uber service. There's Uber service. Exactly. So, puede describir su lugar de trabajo en físico, cómo están las instalaciones, pero de igual manera puede mencionar servicios, eh, servicios de taxi, buses, and so on. So, go ahead. Empecemos con la descripción. There is, there are. Iriatragua, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, teacher, how do you say sala de ventas? Say uh, what is it? Sala de ventas? Uh, sales, sales store, sales department. Teacher, how do you say bóveda? Vault. The vault is where you stored all the merchandise. Yeah. Okay. Well, it can be also a warehouse. Ah, warehouse, yes. Yeah. Rosa department. Uh, teacher. Uh, yes, sir. Excuse me, what's a... Uh, purificar water, purificar water is correct. Uh, one more time, please. Uh, water purificar, purify, 
purificar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, water purificada, o sea, agua pura, agua purificada. Yeah. Agua potable. Agua potable, yeah. Purificada. Drinking water. Drinking water. Drink. Si okay. usted lo traduce, okay. está diciendo como agua bebible. Pero en el ah, sabor okay. decimos agua potable. Drinking water. Ah. Ok, gracias. Teacher, how do you say auditorio? Auditorium. Can you write, please? Sure. Thanks. No problem. Right there. Auditorium. Yes. Person is persona. Yes. Okay. And plural is people. In plural, okay. In singular is person. Plural is people. Okay. And when, when you want to say there's two salesperson, es hay dos vendedores. There are two salespeople. Oh, people. Yeah. Teacher, how do you say capacidad? Uh, capacidad de espacio, ¿cuál capacidad? De espacio. Uh, capacity. Capacidad. Yeah. Okay, I am ready. Okay, good. What is the description of your place, uh, Osmin? Uh, the description of my job? Yep. Yeah, is uh, how a conditioner air. One more time. Uh, a conditioner air is correct. Okay, there is air conditioner. 
Ah, okay. There a conditioner. Okay. There is air conditioner. Okay. Uh, uh, drink water. Uh, there is drinking water. Drinking uh, drinking water. Okay. Para todas usted tiene que poner there is or there are. Okay. Yes. So so there is air conditioner. There is drinking water. What else? Uh, an office comforter. There is a comfortable office. Comfort, com, the comfortable. Co, yeah. comfort. Comfortable office. Comfortable office. Office. Yeah. Uh, the people is very happy. Uh huh. Uh, and there is a beautiful garden. Good. Okay. Where? Very good. Yeah, same. Nice and simple. Very good. Janet, do you have yours? Yes. What is it? There are uh, comfort, comfortable rooms. Yeah. There is AC. There are a lot of trees. Okay. There is a smart parking. Uh huh. There is a home auditorium lot. Uh -huh. And there are capacity, capacity of uh, 1,000 people. Okay, there is one capacity of, there is capacity of 1,000 people. Good. Yes. Nice, very good. Rose, do you have yours? Yes. Uh, there are five medium rooms. There are... Uh, there are a lot, there are a lot, no, there are a lot of small offices, yes? Yeah, there are a lot of okay. small offices, yes. yes. There is a, there is a big warehouse, warehouse. Yeah, yes. warehouse. Yes, and there is a big parking lot. There is a big uh, parking lot, parking, okay. Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There, there is a good photo copy center. And there is a clean kitchen. Okay, excellent. Okay. Vilma, do you have yours? Yes. What is it? There is a beautiful place. There is a big space. A big? Big uh, espacio. Space. A space. There... There are many plants in trees. Uh -huh. There are many offices. Yep. There is big a parking. There's a big parking. There is drinking water every day. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Wilma. Okay. Rick, do you have yours? Yes, teacher. What is it? Okay. In my workplace, there is a small garden when you see a lot of plants. Also, there are a lot of, there are, I'm sorry, there are a lot of small offices that my co-workers work. And then there are four restrooms, two for ladies and two for gentlemen. Also, there is an administrative offices, office, sorry. Outside my workplace, there is a cloud company around 100 meters. Also, there are a public transportation that passes around my workplace. And that's all, teacher. All right, good. And let's see who's missing. Luis? Yes, uh, the first one, there's two access, one for employees and the other for the customers. Okay. There's a sales, there is a sales store with two salespeople. Uh-huh. There are five meeting rooms to make presentations to potential customers. And there is a warehouse on the second floor. All right, good. Marta, can you hear me? Marta, Marta. Okay. What is the okay. description of your place, Marta? I am my, I am my place. I have there are a lot of persons that are that word there is an administrative office in administrative. Uh -huh. beautiful garden. Okay, fine, good. 
All right. Any questions, people? Questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much for the two hours you dedicated to today's class. Uh, have a good night and sleep well. I have a question. Yes, Luis. Um, in the platform, on the progress section, yeah. you have to be in what? In the midterm. What do you mean? We have a, we have a, in the, how do you say, in the platform uh -huh. of, the, of the class, yeah. you, have, you, have a, you have a section that say progress. Right. So there's homework one, two, three, four. So it's just supposed to be what homework, number four? Uh, yes, because we're in week four. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No? No. Thanks for your time. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.